Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide. And this time we are getting it all in the simply exquisite Cocoon. Now this was developed by Geometric Interactive, their debut title, and published by the ever classic Annapurna Interactive. Now this is usually available for around £21 slash $25 e-dues or so, but is included with Xbox Game Pass at the moment. So, have you ever seen Inception? Well, this is Cockception. No, actually, wait, we'll just stick with Cocoonception. Uh, but this is a brilliant twist on the puzzle genre by placing orbs inside of orbs, figuring out puzzles by placing orbs in other orbs and doing other orb stuff. Like leaping between worlds, great boss fights, and excellent puzzles, this does make for a truly magnificent game. Now as for achievements, the majority are quite simple. You'll get a few for getting new orbs, um, beating the bosses, etc. But the main ones are for grabbing collectibles called Moon Ancestors. Now some are relatively easy, uh, some are quite tricky to find, but apart from that, hopefully you can just follow it along lovely and enjoy the epicness, plus my ever so seductive voice. Uh -huh -huh. So all in all, you're looking at around 2-3 to three hours to get this done, so with that being said then, let's do it! And there's only two buttons you're going to make as we start making a rundown. Left stick to move and the A button to interact with stuff. So yeah, that's pretty much about it. So we will head down the steps and head to the right and continue on down. Now you're going to see these uh, will, well, buttons to push. Now a lot of the time they will, as you can see just there, make stairs um, or they will open up doorways, doors and stuff for us like that. Um, but yeah, so this is a pretty much linear path just for now. Again, you'll see if, if you ever get stuck, if you're trying to do this on your own, you can see what the actual buttons are connected to. As you can see, it's a big door. Now, this part, uh, what you do, press the A button here, grab it, and then just move it all the way to the right hand side. And then you'll press the A button then to release it. And then that makes up a bridge. Hit the button again with the A button and that'll get us going. That... <coughs> The ball that we just grabbed uh, kind of reminded me of something, doesn't it, gentlemen? Ouch. Uh, so, uh, head over to the right, and then what you're going to do is hit the button again, and then you're going to go down. So, it's got... a lot of these puzzles do have a little bit of time timing uh, requirements to them. Otherwise, we'll just head up, go to this button, and we can head over to the left onto the platform. Or off the platform, even. Now, we can hold the A button, and that'll put us all the way up. Now, there is this big old purple butt plug looking thing, uh, but we will come to that later because we need a little light bra. A little light dude, dudette. So, heading up. Now, that's uh, we're going to get basically locked in until we solve the puzzle. Uh, that's obviously going to happen a lot through the game as well. So what you need to do then is just interact with these, what what look like little plants. Boop. So boop your way onto them. And then you can press the A button. And now this is effectively a teleporter to transfer you into. Uh, this is pretty much the hub world, if you want to call it that. The sort of main aspect of chillingness. Now that is, this is actually the first boss that we are going to be coming um, up to in a little while, so, you know, getting straight in there, look at that, four minutes in, and already we've got a big bee-looking thing to destroy, so, that's nice. Anyway, we've got Chunky and Orange, so get your Terry's Chocolate Orange and grab it down. Head up to the right. All the way around, head up the stairs up here, and then we're going to pop it down on the left, on the... Um, button right there, that'll get open a couple of bridges for us. So now we can head up the steps. And we can press this button as well to get the platform moving. Move, Angelica! I don't know who Angelica is, but anyway. So now we can go down, grab the orb off the... I think it's called a receptacle, but uh, yeah. Anyway, grab the orange orb, hit the button, and you know, apparently... Oh, I forgot to make a joke about the birth. Yeah, we got birthed in the beginning. That was uh, always a delicious, delicious thing to look at. Uh, so head up the steps on the right. Can't beat a good birth video, can you? YouTube famous, TikTok famous, yeah. Watch me give birth. Uh, so head down the steps once you popped it in the tube. 
the, your balls in the tube, sorry. Uh, go ahead, grab the orange orb. Now, as you can see, what uh, when you stand on those little platforms, um, it's going to uh, ch uh, change the tubes. So what we actually need to do is head up the top. Now, you have to do this quite quickly. So drop it in the tube, run down, and hit the first button that we come across. Once that passes through, head down to the next one. And then immediately run down again. Whoops, almost made a mistake. And then hit the last button. So just stand on the last button. And there we go. Just about made it. So, again, with the puzzles and everything in this game, if you do make a mistake or if you take too long to do something, you can literally just keep retrying it. It's the same with the bosses as well. So you can't actually die. Um, everything's quite generous in this game. So, we will pop the orb down here. Now, what you need to do is pick it back up, and then what that will do is open up a little doorway or something for us. Now, we head on to the left one, and then you do the same thing. So, you can see where the door is on the back one, so just wait until it is roughly the same. Pick it up there, and we are as golden as nuggety chunky nerds. And everyone likes a good chunky nerd. Great. Get onto the platform here, and then boost your way up. Again, hold the A button. Now, you can see what kind of looks like a half-eaten apple right there. Um, but what we need to do is pop the orange orb on the platform here on the left. Heading up. Again, uh, a lot of the times we will need to take the orb with us, but not quite yet. So we'll have to figure out another puzzle. And now these, as you can see, um, you see the little sort of black symbols in the back there. So basically, you just have to find where the puzzle is located. For instance, it is here, so you need to have a look at what symbols they are first, and then go ahead and do it in the corresponding order. You can do it in reverse order, uh, just as long as they are in the same order. So we'll go, if one to left is one, uh, left, right, one to five, so you go two, five, and then three, and then have a look at the last two symbols. And then hit one and three. Sorry, I already made a mistake there. I meant two, five, and four, and then one and three. Um, so what that'll do then is release this little light broski brosk for us. Now with those types of puzzles, um, it'll be a case of the uh, puzzle answer will be somewhere quite near, but I'll just be showing you what to do so we can just basically crack on. I'll just show you the number order rather than trying to explain. And then obviously it's up to you, whatever you want to do. If you want to uh, if you want to look for the puzzle answers yourself, that's also Q. Right, so we got a little light broski. We're going to pop orange on this button right here. And that is going to open up the Applest of apples. And that'll release a, another little button that we can put our orb onto. The orb button. Now, it... Uh, basically comes up with an orange puddle, so if we press and hold the A button, we can now go inside that orange orb and go into the orange world. How crazy is this, bro? So we're going to head down to the left, and what Light Broski is going to do for us is obviously get rid of the gate. This is what Light Broski is good for, and he's also good for sticking himself in purple butt plugs so we can go up through the door. So once we're in and we can just continue heading up, we will go to the left hand side path. We are going to be coming up to our first achievement actually very, very soon. So we'll head up and what you're going to do is grab this big walker thing and ow! Now anyone who is male watching this, does that not look like you grab a ball and it just it makes mine shoot up inside myself, uh, looking at it like that. But grab the sphere and then um, um, press the A button there when you get to the bridge, so you can make a little bridge for yourself. You know, try and uh, try not think of it like that when you're pulling a ball and ouchy ouch. So what we're going to do then? We're going to grab onto this ball. We're going to shoot our way up. Uh, press the A button again then to let go. And again, we're going to be coming up to our first collectible, first moon ancestor. So instead of going right, we're going to continue on to the left. You can see all these like little black bubbles and patterns and stuff. 
Um, that's that's basically an indicator to know when you are buy one. Press and hold the A button here, and that releases the first um, Moon Ancestor. So you'll get the achievement off the beaten path. Now it didn't unlock for me. I mean, it unlocked for me, but not on screen because my Xbox was being douchebaggerish. So yeah, so you should get the first achievement, and then we can head up to the right. We're going to be coming up to our first boss as well soon, since you know there's a couple of bees and stuff. And they sound angry. So, what we'll do is continue up straight on. Now, what we have to do then is basically there's going to be a little rumble in the jungle underneath. As you can see, underneath the ground. So, what you'll do is hit the A button. That'll release a bomb. Press the A button to pick it up. And then the A button again to smash it open. Now, I will show you that if you do get hit, you just go back to the start point of literally where the boss was. Um, but so effectively you can't get hit. But with these bees attack there, when these bees attack here, just press the A button to get them off. And again, he's just going to do a charge move. So sometimes he'll have a little break, but then other times he will go at you really fast. So as you can see, I get smashed because um, I didn't wait. So as soon as he just stops for just a few seconds, that's when you know you can um, obviously pick up the bomb and go again. So, again, anytime you get hit by the boss or anything, you'll just end up in the hub world, go back in, and you will start again. Um, again, obviously, it will be from the beginning, so, you know, keep that one in mind. So, just wait, uh, obviously, keep looking at the ground until you see the bomb underneath. As soon as the bees attack you there, just press the A button. Uh, so, just keep avoiding his charges. Stay far away from him as you can. Again, no need to rush it. So, just wait... Again, I could have picked it up there, but, you know, paranoia and stuff. So it's every second attack. Every sort of second and third attack he does. Bam. Again, make sure to press the A button to destroy him. And he's just going to do the same thing, but he is going to go a little bit faster. So obviously just try and stay uh, as far away as you can from him. And then just keep rinsing and repeating. So, with this next phase then, uh, we basically just have to keep avoiding the spikes. So, they're going to sort of roll in different directions. So, all we can do is just avoid the spikes until we get the bomb. And then that should be that. So, as you'll see, um, they'll start splitting. But they start going in the opposite direction. So, again, you just have to be very careful and not to get too... Um, you can get easily confused with that one. So, just stay in the sort of area that you are. A bomb will eventually appear. Yes, there it is. Come to me, my beloved. Pick up the bomb, press the A button, and the B, the Lego winged B, has been blasted. We win, and that's it. Game complete. <laughs> no, of course, I just forgot. Um, you're actually going to have to play this game for a couple of hours instead of just 15 minutes. And I know it's hard for some these days, but hey, the stuff we got to do, man, it's, it's what we do. So... There's the first boss defeated, we hit the teleporter, we go into the next area, and we get the orange orb in our possession, our power. Ugh. It's like steroid power. Anyway, go off to the right, and as you can see, you will start getting new paths, new hidden paths. Uh, you'll also get the achievement called Pathfinder right there as well. So we'll continue going up and sort of around. Uh, a lot of these paths do have little dead ends that can easily trick you into going into a dead end. So, uh, you know, it takes like a second or two to not to not worry about it, but there we go. So pop the orange orb in. We're going to grab the um, painful ball. I'll call it the pain ball. Uh, press the A button once the platform is up the top of the screen. Grab the orange orb. And again, we'll go for a little bit of pathfindering, pathfindery. So, obviously, continue to the right, and then we will go to the right and down, hit the button right here, and we're going to hit it three times, actually, so it's so the um, device there is pointing to the bottom left. So, once that one is done, pointing to the bottom left, we can head back on ourselves. Ah! 
And then we'll pop the orange orb back down. And then we'll grab the painful ball and put the platform back down into its original starting location. So grab the orange orb again. And now we're going to head down to the orange path. Down to the right. And we're going to see another button here that we can push. So bump. Pop that one. That's just going to get the platform moving, which we will do nicely. So, um, now I think if you can be quick enough, you can grab it the first time, jump on the platform the first time. If not, hit the button again when it's coming back. Um, there we go. Jump on. In fact, you don't want to do it the first time because you'll have no way to get off then. So, <laughs> ignore that bit. Uh, so, jump yourself up. Of course, we're going to be straight onto another hidden path. So, from here then, we could just head down and to the right. Until we are back in the little central apple area. Let's call it an apple area. Looks like a looks like a half apple in the ground, doesn't it? Uh, so just continue on then. Uh, sort of down right here onto this little platform. Hit the orb and then hit the button. And you'll smoosh your way over to the right hand side. Again, make sure to pick up the orb. Continue on. Hit, uh, Put the orb on the button again. And then we can head downstairs. Now this is a kind of... Timingly timing requirement puzzle right here. So what we'll need to do then is go ahead and grab the painful ball here Now this is like a walk-in drill dough cut type thing. I don't know what the hell it is kind of looks like Drill head, you know pyramid heads uh, useless -er brother um, So anyway pop him all the way over to the right hand side let him go then go ahead and grab the one on the right hand side now, you need to get both of these drill dough heads to hit the blue markers at the same time. So, wait until the one on the left is around there in the middle. As soon as they're both on the blue, hit the middle button. And then that will open up the way for us. So, it may take, you know, may take just one one or two attempts there to get the, the timing down. It did for me anyway. Uh, anyway, this is going to be the next boss that we've got to look forward to. So, did it? So, that's good. We're all good. Once we've got the green orb, we can now just run, run, run. I mean, you don't have to run too much, but, you know, makes the game go a little bit quicker. So, heading back up the stairs then, what we'll do is pop the green orb on the button. Uh, make sure to grab the orange orb again, of course. And then hit the button here so the platform can get moving. So now, you've got two balls in your hand. So, hopefully, everyone is experienced with handling balls. Um, because there's a lot of balls we're going to fondle our way through, uh, handle today. So, orange orb on the one, green orb on the other, that'll open up the apple core. So once you've got your two balls down, the tiniest of peckers will appear. And then we're going to put the, uh, green orb down first. So we'll pop the green orb down. Now this is where all the orbception stuff starts. Put the orb, green orb down, grab the orange one, and then hold the A button to go into the green world with the orange orb. So we can head up to the right, and now we can use this moving platform, so just relax, take in the scenes, enjoy yourself. But we can't enjoy ourselves too much because, man, we got work to do. So, you can see these teleporters again. If you stand on it, that'll um, basically open the teleporter up so we can go back into said hub world. Pop the orange orb down. Uh, pick up the green one and we'll pop that one down as well. Grab the orange orb to put that one back in the center on the little pecker. Then grab the green orb and then go inside of the orange world. Oh, it's incredible. It's incredible how confusing this can be, but it's so good, man. So, green on the left, so now we can get over the bridge that we couldn't before, hit the button, and go for a nice little spacewalk. Right, so this is another one of those puzzles where you have to find the answer and then put it in the specific order. But first of all, we're going to go up, because there is the answer to the puzzle, by the way, just in case you were wondering. Again, I'm not going to be showing every 
answer or uh, where it is, just a sort of little, it's up there or it's down there. So what we'll do then is hit the fifth one first, then the first one. So five, one, four, two and three. So five, one, four, two and three. Again, I just find it easier if you do it one to five is left to right. Uh, and I'll just show you how to do, I'll just uh, show you that rather than go up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down. So there we go, we've got our little light bra. Hello, Mr. Light Broski. So once that's done, we can get rid of the gate and we can uh, hit the button here and go to the other side. A lot of chicken. Why did the chicken cross the roads to get to the other side jokes in this video? Um, nah, I'm not going to do that. So pick up the green orb, head back into the platform. And now we're going to put the green orb down. I'm going to put the orange orb down. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, that's what we're doing. Picking up the green orb, putting that in the central pecker. And then picking up the orange orb and going into the green world. So yes, my words may be confusing, especially later on when we got four balls to play with. <laughs> Sorry. So once you've unlocked the gate up there, we can now go through an orange path. So yeah, just continue to follow the way. Instead, go left here. It's uh, quite well hidden, that one, but there is a hidden path here off to the left. This is going to be where another moon ancestor is. Um, now, again, sometimes the puzzles, they, they kind of look like they would be difficult here, but generally a lot of the time you're just finding where the... Um, Sort of pad or whatever it is and you're just releasing it and it's job done so yeah it's like releasing and it's like one of those where you've been dying to itch your butt all day you know your your uh, your, your uh, anal cavity but you've had to wait until you get home to do it it's just that's how i feel the moon ancestors are I've been trying to scratch my ass all day right so this thing is like a goopy thing that will crush destroy your light buddy but that's fine, because he always just goes to a little platform um, very close by. So what you need to do then to get past this orange gloopy thing, pop the orange orb down. Uh, go back to the left, of course, grab your little light buddy again. And then it's a simple case of grabbing the orb, waiting until the orange gloopy gloop goes back to the left. And then we can move on. Gate's done. Gate's done! Come and get it! Come and get it! Uh, right, so for now we're going to head up this little rocky part. We're going to get the teleporter uh, awake. And again, it's there is another orange gloopy part. So we'll pop the orange orb down. We will pop the orange orb down here. And then what we'll do is head to the left quickly, jump into the teleporter. Now what you're going to see in the green puddle is the orange gloop going to the left, as you can see. So, ungloopify yourself. So go back in, and you can see L gloopiness is over to the left. Very impressive how sort of simple, but very mind-bendingly unique some of these puzzles are. Genuinely, genuinely had an awesome time with this one. Anyway, once little light brosy goes in, door's going to open like Led Zeppelin's. Where are you? When the bill heaven. That was South Park, not Led Zeppelin. Close enough. Right, so into a new area then. Make sure make sure we got our orb. So we're gonna hit this doohickey machine until it's pointing bottom left again. Go to the left. And we're gonna find this obviously hidden bridge. We're gonna go up. Keep following the path around. We're going up to another moon ancestral. And then what you need to do then is just head all the way up. And that is where the third one is, which will be the Mesh Network. It's beautiful. It's rare. I'm in my underwear. Rare achievements. I'm not actually in my underwear. It's too cold. Right, so once you've got Mesh Network anyway, uh, we are heading back. Obviously, the path that we came should only be one way to go. And then what we need to do then is hit the button in front of us again um, until it is pointing into the top left corner this time. I mean, it's, it, it is like a bridge, but you, you know what I mean. You, you can sort of obviously see one. But anyway, once that's pointing up there, we can now head up. 
pop your orange orb in. And then as soon as the door's on the right, quickly grab it and then run straight through. And job done. Uh, there is a little uh, a little um, orb holder just on the right, just past the gates there. Uh, I say orb holder, it's a tube, sorry. So grab the tube, go straight through. Pick it up when we get to the other side. Ah! And there we go. So actually what we do need to do here then, we need to grab the orange orb, just off the orb holder, go through the teleporter. Pop the orange orb down, head back into the green world. Go through the little crack in the gates, interact with this portal, straight in, teleporter or whatever, grab the orange orb, head back into the green world and ta-da! I mean, we've got wings, it's not like, you know, I mean, we could have pretty much just flown whatever, but there we go. What am I? I'm no expert at this, am I? No. Right, so heading to the left-hand side path, continue left, and then we're going to see this little painful ball dickery doodah. So we're going to drag that all the way around. And every time you hear a noise like in the game, that sort of um, screeching noise, that's actually... Uh, the collective male population who sort of screaming at the thought of their balls being pulled like that. Right, so what we'll do then is head to the left anyway over this next bridge. Um, obviously coming up to another puzzle, so we'll head up here. Just continue on all the way up until you see this little jump pad. Hold the A button to drop down. Ah. And then from here what we'll do then is head to the up. So you can interact with that teleporter right there. Uh, pop your orange orb down and that's going to get a bridge out. And it's going to be boss number two. So boss number two. Now he's all fun. So what you need to do then, the first couple of, uh, or the sort of first phase here, you need to grab, anytime you see that this sort of ball is red, you need to grab it, pull it, um, pop the water over it. Once it's open, hit the A button to pop the um, bomb down. Now, I think if you do die, or, you know, if you get hit a couple of times, um, and you get sent back to the hub world, I think you only need to hit him, like, once then, maybe. Uh, but for now, all you got to do then is just avoid his attacks and get him to hit the red ball. So, as you can see, for me, it's in the top left-hand corner. So, just avoid the attacks and just get him hitting the red ball. So, it can, it can kind of be a little bit confusing, but once you've done that, Grab that. Now, what he's going to do is throw some projectiles at us. Now, I always find it easier to go down to the bottom of the screen. Uh, it just finds it easier to dodge that way. Um, so, obviously, avoid these spiky boys. Get the boiling water over. Chuck the bomb on. Jobs are good. And now it's going to be the same sort of thing here, but with a lot more of um, uh, uh, a lot more stones or statues or whatever. So, again, it's just the same thing. For some reason, he decided not to go straight through that one, then. Oh, in fact, he did, but I did, just didn't grab the ball. That's stupid. So, yeah, just do the same thing as you've been doing, then. Again, watch out for the purple bells. Now, it can be a little bit uh, tricky to sort of uh, control. Uh, but he's going to shoot some more. It can be yeah, with the water spout thing or whatever this is. can be kind of tricky to control, but there we go. Drop the bomb on him. Job done. Right, after this, he's going to go for his third and final phase. Now, if you do end up um, getting hit by uh, the... He's basically going to turn into a big rotating spiky boy. If you do manage to get hit, um, you will just start off at this area again, or at least I did anyway. So avoid his attacks and go through the wall. Now we're looking for the bomb, which is obviously on the opposite side of what we wanted. So it's a case now of just uh, sort of keep hugging the wall and then go through again. He will also try and uh, sort of suck you in as well. So that's what I just keep running away from it though, and then you know you should be fine. But once you have grabbed the bomb, press the A button. Now uh, again, stay here right at the very bottom. He's going to be shooting quite a lot. Now I find it easier to dodge these purple bros. Just by staying at the bottom and then just, you know, going left and right ever so slightly. They obviously separate and spread out a bit more. So once they've all spread out lovely, this will be the end of Boss Man.
Now we has unleashed the green orb's fullest power. Like Arnold, we have unleashed the power of the helicopter. So what this does, is you can see these like ghost platforms or invisible platforms, whatever you want to call them. Pressing the A button on them will make them get up. Nah. Uh, we'll also get the fundamental changes achievement as well. So obviously drop down onto the platform there and then you can drop down. So once you're inside the Invisi form, Invisi plat, you can press the A button and just continue to press the A button here. And then we can just get off, hit the green orb down and then we're going to go for a little spin. Spin cycle! Whee! And there we go, fun's over, back to work. Back to work for no dollars an hour. Right, so again, just keep pressing the A button until you spin over to the other side. Hit it again two more times, and again once. Drop down, and we're going to find our next moon ancestors, which is going to be under the line. So, once you've got the achievement, end of the line, we can now head back up the stairs to the left, hit the A button once, twice, and now we can continue, continue on to the right. So, first thing we'll do, we'll head up this Invisi platform, pop the green button down, or green orb down, that'll get the Invisi platform over to the left here. So now we can go ahead and pick up the green orb once again, quickly drop down and that will basically get it stuck right there that's exactly what we need uh, so we'll see um, continue heading down we're gonna find this other invisi platform press the a button to get that up and then quickly jump up and you should be able to get through to the other side right there head up again and continue on to the right until you see the next invisi platform that'll shoot you up like a barrel of peanuts up inside an elephant is trunk anyway. So heading all the way up the steps then what we're going to do is go on to this platform here on the right press the A button there a couple of times and then we're going to jump off hit this button and it's going to open up the way. So we need to do a bit of reverse psychology now. So we need to go back to the left we need to uh, go down these steps on the left hit the uh, invisible platform and then we should be good to go. So we can just head back down Hit this Invisi platform, and then we should now go straight up, and ah, lovely stuff. Look at us now, right into the Starfield. Yeah, yeah. I wonder how many people are angry at that Starfield video of mine. <laughs> anyway, right, once you've jumped over, prop the green orb down, the apple, the core of the apple will open up, little pecker appears, uh, so there we go, let's pop, uh, grab the or green orb, put it on the middle pecker, and then we can get back inside the green world. Woo! Hello, Orange Baby. So grab Orange Baby and go back into the hub world with the uh, teleporter. And then what we could do then is hit, uh, put this on the uh, bottom pecker right there, grab the green one and pop that one over to the other side. Uh, grab the orange orb, pop that one in the middle Grab the green one and head inside the orange world. It's an orange girl's world, baby. So just pop this green one down onto the left and then head back into the teleporter machine. So basically what we're doing is putting... We can now carry the orange with the green inside of us, inside of it as well. So there's a lot of uh, balls going inside each other. Oh, too many puns, I gotta stop. So once you've unlocked the apple core of juiciness, Put the orange down and then go inside. So heading inside the orange world and then we're going to grab the green orb again and head back through to the teleporter into the hub world. We'll just call it hub world because it's easier to know it, know, know that. Uh, so heading to the right, hit the button here. That's going to get a platform floating. Um, obviously we're going to drop down and we are going to use said platform. Uh, before you do that, though, go ahead and grab your orange orb as well. Otherwise, well, you'll have to... It's a replay of about 10 seconds going back and forth. Right, so once you've done that one, grab the orb, pop this one on the bottom. On the button, sorry, your orange orb. Then go ahead and grab your green orb. Bye-bye, platform. Hey! 
And then we will go ahead and swap them out. So the green orb is on the button, connecting the bridge, and we've got the orange orb. Because, of course, we need to do this path. Now, this is another one of those puzzles. The solution is on the bridge here if you want it. Otherwise, I'm just going to tell you again. Left to right is 1 to 5. So, first of all, we go 2. So, hit number 2, number 4, number 3, number 1, and then number 5. And, obviously, another little light bra will bra us the way. So once light bras appear, we will head back down the way we came. So up, right and down, here we go. Back across the bridge, and again, uh, light broski will open up the way for us, even though there's a sizable gap the other side, we could have easily just gone through there. But still, what do I know, I'm not a game designer, developer, or I have any talent whatsoever, apart from talking crud on video guides. Which thankfully you guys seem to like, so <laughs> I'm thankful for that. So, into this next area then, pop your green orb down, go and grab your orange orb and pop that one down as well. The core juiciness will appear again. Once tis done, grab the green orb and pop that on the middle pecker. Grab the orange orb and fit yourself inside of greeny. However you want to take that, I don't know. Uh, so we'll head down, we will head up the rock on the right, by the way. That's the hidden path that we're trying to grab. Come on, there we go. Got there eventually. So, through to the hidden path. Oh, hello. We're going to head down. And then we can go to the right, since of course we've got Light Brow with us. He will um, open up the way. From here, we're going to go down again. So just continue on down. This time, we're going to take a left. Down. Oh, in fact, sorry, no, we're going right. Oh, my apologies. Oh my god, I'm such a douche. Sorry, we're going to the right until we get to this sort of centrally hubby area. Oh, I'm so sorry. I tried not to steer you wrong. But it's so easy with these bloody hidden paths. So anyway, once you've lit up the teleport away, continue going to the right. And then you can see another area which we are in. The sort of central hub, if you want to call it that. Get the light bra going again, so the gates, both gates will disappear. And then get on the jump pad, boost yourself over, boing! And then we've got a little bit of a puzzle to do here. So, what we'll do is get our little light bra squished, squashed, like an absolute flat diddy bang gig. Now, it's a bit of timing involved here, but what we need to do is jump our way over, press the A button to get the ball down the tube, quickly run over to the left to grab a light bra, and then quickly run back down to the right, and then by the time we get there, we should then be in the middle by the time the orange orb goes over. So now we can just stay here. And now we can go up without the fear of being dithed. So once the gates have been unlocked, um, we'll go up and hit the button here on the left. That's basically a little platform. So then we can just grab the orange orb and then hit the button to go back. Right, so once we are back then, we, let's head up now through to the orange path, take a left, and then just follow the path around. We're on steroids, go to the right. <laughs> the steroid power is what I meant, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Light Bra is going to bra the way for us there. And then we're going to get back on the jump pad, jump our way down, slash over, and we're in a nice bit of allergic flowery fields or whatever that is with weird looking flat faced panda bears or something anyway continue up and put the orange orbit down that's going to get this little jump pad going for us again but this is another bit of a puzzle then so what you need to do is run away from this uh, this little orange glue thing is going to go to the left and then what we need to do is use the jump pad to jump over so if as you can see like there uh, you do get squished that's fine just grab your light brow again so now the orange gloopy thing is going to go from right to left. So as soon, just before it hits the very left-hand side, you want to jump over now. 
and that should be enough. If you leave it too late, you will get squished, so just keep doing that. Again, that one may take you a couple of tries, it took me about four or five, so just be, um, yeah, that's all you got to do. And then pop them in the old purple BP, and the way will open again. Apparently we've got another boss in just a bit where Broski Bras got three heads. That's always something to look forward to. Huh? Right, so once you got the purpley of the orb. Now, the one thing I am disappointed in this game is they didn't make any of these orbs blue as we head back to the left. Now, wouldn't that have been fun to have um, continued to be playing with your blue balls? <laughs> I'm so childish, sorry. So, pop the purple orb down, we're going to head back into the green world. So, yeah, we've got no blue balls to play with, it's just purple balls, orange balls, green balls, and white balls. Uh, grab the orange orb, head back, and then we've got all three going. So, pop your orange orb down, grab the green one, we'll swap that out with the purple one, so we can put the purple one down. And then we're going to grab the orange orb, and we are going to go inside purple world. Yeah, yeah. Right, so, a bit spooky stuff going on, but it's all good. So we'll head down to the right, uh, basically just following this tiny little path. We'll put the orange ball down the tube, and then head back up. So it's no rush, I'm not, I, I'm not, I'm not like, rushing, running or anything like that. We just, sort of, uh, it's just, I mean, it's just so fast. Anyway, this will get this, like, um, vertebrae bridge, or whatever you want to call it. And then we can pick up the orange orb, job done. So we're going to get another new mechanic here. Um, in just a moment, it's one of the walkers, so we can actually put an orb on a walker which will follow us. So we're heading up and to the right, uh, continue heading down, uh, no, up right, sorry. Um, and then we'll pop the orb down the tube here on the left, and then we can go down. There we go, so continue on downwards, literally downwards. Grab the painful ball, in fact, no, sorry, leave the painful ball. And um, we're just going to head all the way up. So not to the left here, but we're going to head all the way up, as you can see. Our little orange orb friend has decided to remain, relax, chill. Right, now what we'll do is head to the left, pop this one on little Pekka. And this is our little Walker friend, Roy Walker from Catchphrase. Anybody remember from the 90s? Roy Walker from Catchphrase didn't have that accent, that was just a crappy one I attempted. Anyway, we're going to head down. And he's going to pop himself straight in there. That's going to open up the button for us. We can push. And skedaddle. Off he goes. So let's follow him. So up left. There he goes. He can see us. Hello, friend. Here we are. Now we can grab Painful Ball. And then pop him over to the left. Ouch. Let go. Oh, thank God. Uh, right, now Walker will follow us, and now we'll just go to the left. You can be as fast or slow as you want, he'll know where you're going anyway, so it's all good. Uh, we just need to get him into this button, and that's going to open up the way for us lovingly. There we go, so go ahead, grab the orange orb, go inside, hit the button to go down. Right, so from here, head to the left. And we'll go down to the right. So continue going to the right this time. Um, put the orange orb here on the right-hand side one. And then what we'll do is go to the left, down, go through the teleporter into the hub area. Grabbing old greeny, old snotty green bags. What is it with kids and eating their green buggers, by the way? What is that? Did, did, did we have a, a taste for it? Or is it... Can you eat a bet with, fr you know, fries? Can you put it on... You know, dirty loaded fries, mm, steak, cheese, jalapenos, and boogers. A kid's delight. But anyway, look at this. Whoa! So, 
so off they flurry into the distance. So, let's follow them. So, we'll head up the right-hand side path. I uh, don't think it matters too much uh, whichever way you go. Because they are both eventually going to go... Well, after we get them sorted out. Uh, so, what we're going to do then, we grab the orange orb first as soon as he has decided to stop flying with his four fat leaves. There we go. So, go ahead, stick and grab the orb. Stick the orb anyway, just grab it. We'll need to head down. Obviously, we're going to be on the old Pathfinder. Head to the right. And then from here, um, now we can, we got to use a bridge, but we need a walker for that. So let's go and grab that one. So we're going to head all the way to the right. Head, uh, put the orange orb into the tube. And then we need to go up this little platformy bit right here. Head down so we can grab that. There we go, grab it. Pop back up. Head sort of up on yourself now, up right. And stick it in old Peckermouth. Peckermouth? Meh. Anyway, that's going to be a walker and he is going to be needed. So, away we go, John Bon Jovi. So, what we need to do then is just interact with this button here. That'll get a bridge going. Little walker mans will follow the way. Once that's done then, what we need to do, um, we're actually going to get for another moon ancestor now. So head down, so rather than go up, head down, follow the way around. Now what you need to do is get your um, walker dude on the actual platform itself. Once you've done that, grab the orb so he's de deactivated. Go ahead, uh, hit the other one, hit the other button. That will appear, moon ancestor will appear, then we can just uh, hit the button. And grab that one. Skin leap. Skin leap. <laughs> hey, I told you it was skin deep. Right, so once we've skin deep that one, Walker will follow us. So we just have to now hit the button here on the left. The walker will, in fact, actually, we've got to get the walker onto the button, grab the orange orb, and then we can go over to the left and hit the button. That will finally get rid of the door that is blocking the way. So, again, pop it back inside your walker. He's going to be very grateful of that one. Uh, we're going to head up. Now, be careful. Don't go too fast. Sort of take your time with this one, purely because the walker can... Go underneath the bridge and get stuck, and it's a pain in the, once again, bumder snatch and holen. So we're going to head up, and he's going to happily get himself in there. There he goes. <laughs> Job done. Uh, we will need the orange orb for just a moment, though, so what we'll do is head to the left. Uh, we'll head down, go over the invisible bridge once again, of course, head to the left. Now you're going to need to put the orange orb down the tube, and then go through... The Krakamadax. That's what we need. So we got the walker. There we go. So what we need to do now is go over to the right hand side. Grab the green orb here. And you've got to do... Again, a little bit of timing is going to happen here. So go up the invisible platform. Invisi platform. Head all the way up. And then invisi yourself down. Now what you need to do now is invisi yourself up so that the walker is stuck there. That's what we need. Now this is where the timing comes into it. We need to wait until he's in the sort of middle platform and then quickly jump up. So go down as soon as he's in the middle, press A again, and that is exactly what you want. So now we can press the A button again. He is going to join us on this platform. Again, make sure that he's on the platform with you. And then we can swap the orbs out. Uh, it's a little bit easier if we are going to do the bridge ourselves. No offense to the walkers, but man, you guys suck. Uh, quickly grab your green one, make sure you're both on the platform, and then go ahead and grab your orange one back. There we go, got there eventually. Grabbed our orange one back. <laughs> right, so what we'll do now is head to the right again. Yeah, and obviously just, you know, take your time. Don't let your broski go ski. And then he will very happily once again smash himself in. So that's the green one. Pop your orange orb in as well. And watch the ensuring cutscene. <laughs>
and welcome to yet more new areas. Pop yourself back into the happiness world, pop the orange orb down, and go back inside of Purpley. Purpley likes it when you get inside. Uh, go and grab the green orb, and then we'll head to the left, go up the Invisi platform, and down the rocky platform. Then we can go ahead, go on to the uh, new teleporter and jump yourself in. Swap the orange orb. So with the orange orb, go back into the purple world. It'll only get more confusing as it goes on, awesomely. So head right across the bridge. And then just continue going right. And then what we're going to see then is a little pecker for us to put the orange orb into. That's going to release the apple juice core. And then once that has been released, go ahead, grab the orange orb again. And we will head back to the left. So we're not actually going to be putting the orange orb in that one. We'll head back to the left, head back to the teleporter, and bang. And then we will swap the purple ones, pop the purple one down, grab the green one, and go inside the orange world. Oh. Put the green one down on the left little pecker. Now, that, for the majority, that's all we'll be doing in the orange world, is just putting it down. It's just somewhere to store the balls. No. <laughs> Uh, swap them over anyway, get purple, and then grab orange and go inside the purple world. Of course, you should have green inside orange as well. Now we can head to the right, go over the bridge, and now we are going to use middle wooden pecker. So go back inside the orange world, grab the green orb again from the left, and get yourself buns back in the Paul Huns. So, let's head down with the green orb in hand. Going all the way up and around. Go up the Invisi platform. And, I don't know what that's supposed to be, like a cactus tree or something. It looks spooky. Anyway, when we get here, what we'll do is, uh, it's another one of those puzzles. By the way, it's just up there, up the Invisi platform, if you want to know where it is. But, we go in to go number four, five, three, two, one. That's four, five, three, two, one. If you wanted to know where the solution is, it's up that Invisi platform at the back of the screen. So four, five, three, two, one. And then we can head back. That will open up the way for us. Uh, now we're going to go up to the right. And uh, that's going to get the light up, bruh. Hello, my light, bruh. So with, again, with the green orb intact, and now with light bra, what we're going to do is head down the other side. He will obviously smash open the doors for us. Spank you very muchos. Very much graciasus. Um, now, whatever you do here, he's basically going to die, is old friendy. Light friend. So what we need to do is, with the green orb in tow, swap it out with the orange one. Uh, go inside the green world with orange in tow. And then we will need to get him squashed. So that's all on purpose. <laughs> Mess it to my madness. So we're just going to leave him there, actually, just for the moment. So what we'll do is swap it out again. So the orange is in the middle, and we've got green. So what we'll need to do then is go ahead and just go straight up. So straight up past the orange gloopy gloop. Put the green on the little pecker here. And that's going to open up the or or apple core. Then pick it up again. Put it in the pecker, or on the pecker, <laughs> put your balls on your pecker. Go inside again, now we can go ahead and grab light bra. There we go, lovely, and now we can get back into the teleporter and we will be where we put the green orb. So he doesn't die, and he helps us get rid of this. And he'll also get inside the purple BP, the purple looking BP. So, now what we'll have to do then is go and grab the green orb. There are going to be two little peckers that we can put the orbs on. So you'll need to put the green orb on uh, either one. I just put it on the left because it's there. And you need to go and grab the orange one as well.
So, we're going to have a little bit of a chase now. I say we're going to have a little chase. Um, the walkers are on their way, so let's chase. Hey, come back here. You never catch the dragon. Or was it uh, the Guitar Hero episode of South Park where Randy plays um, the the heroine, the heroine dragon <laughs> game? God, I can't remember what that's called. Anyway, uh, go ahead on each one then. Pop, uh, push the buttons on each one so you can get both walkers over to the other side. Going to be coming up to another moon ancestor as well in just a little bit. So once both are on, a bridge will appear. So from here then, what we're going to do is immediately take a right. Don't follow these for now. We're going to take a right. As you can see, little black blobs about, which means there is an ancestor of Moonity about. And there he is, straight up, job done. Grab a boobity. <laughs> and once you've Brian but that Badondi, um, we will now go ahead and follow the two walker dudes. Again, it doesn't matter which one you follow, they're all going to go to the same place. And it's going to be on the platforms there. Boink, boink. There we go, job done. That's going to get us another bridge going. And it is third boss time. Now, a couple of things that we need to be doing here. So, uh, once you have popped that one on, as you can see, it's like a mirror effect. Now, if you press the A button, you will teleport to the other side, which will come in handy for this boss. Then those little flowers are going to appear, and you actually need to hit them. They are like missiles. So wherever you are, you need to just walk into them. That will hit the boss, and it's, uh, yeah, job done. But what the boss, uh, this boss's attacks will be, once you see a bit of, like, flashing blue on one of the platforms, that means he's going to smash it down. He will try and spin attack you as well, so obviously, remember, you need to press the A button as well to obviously teleport yourself to the other side. So, as you can see, I completely monged that up straight from the start. Um, somehow, somehow I managed to do that. Um, now, for some reason, it did take two or three goes for me to get used to the sort of teleporting to the other side effect for some particular reason. But hopefully, uh, just keep going around until the missile appears. That will hit him first. Now, as you can see, there's the blue little flash. He's going to hit one of the platforms down. So, obviously, what you need to do is be careful that you don't teleport yourself off the edge as well. So, just be very careful with that one. So, you need to be play the old trigger-roo. Uh, try and teleport him to the other side when he's trying to get you. Keep hitting the missiles. Now, the blob's going to appear. So, we, this is like the sort of final phase for this one. And then eventually, it's going to start getting some red stuff that we can't, um, that slows us down. So, there we go. There is the next missile. Job done. Boop. So now, what he's going to do, so what you have to do now is there's going to be what kind of looks like brains or something in just a moment. Uh, so again, anytime he's going to smash the platform down, just make sure to either teleport yourself to the other side or just run away. Should be okay for now. And then when the next missile appears... Oh, here we go. Right. So, with the red stuff, you want to make sure you are not in that red stuff. It slows you down considerably. So, just make sure you're looking at where your mirrored guy is. And then making sure that he is on one of the fast uh, platforming bits. Or that you are on the edge of the red bit. So, you're not wasting your time too much being in the middle and losing a lot of time. Like I just did right there. Uh, so again, as you can see, he's going to smash these two down, and then hopefully five will appear. There it is. So it's not too bad once you, once you get the timing down and everything. Um, there's another missile. So we've just got one more. Uh, but yeah, once you get the sort of timing down on everything, it's not so bad when you get used to the teleporting to the other side and stuff.
And there we go then. So, we get through to the other side. Hopefully that boss wasn't too bad. Uh, now, these are all the purple flowers that we are going to be... We're basically unlocking its full powerly potential now. From there to here. So grab any one of the purple flowers. Grab another one. And as you can see, so every time you pick another one up, the other one disappears. Um, in terms of bosses... We've only got one left to really fight, and he is the easiest out of the lot. So if you've been having any trouble with the first three bosses, be thankful there will be effectively none left. So, grab the purple flower to go through the gate, and then again, uh, pop it down into the middle pecker here, and then we're going to head up the right, go up, grab this purple flower, go across the bridge, pop it onto the pecker on the left, and that'll open up a nice little bridge for us. So yes, this is the full power of the... Purple flower, the full potential power of the purple flower, power of the flower. Right, grab the old painful ball right here. Now what you're going to see is like a little mushroom dude, just in the right of where you're going. So you basically just have to directing. Uh, you can only walk on the path of these mushrooms, what look like mushrooms anyway. So we need to get him all the way down to the ground, of course. There we go. And then we'll just leave him there. That's fine. Grab the purple flower, pop him on the pecker at the bottom. That's going to get a platform going down. So now what we'll do is uh, get Painful Ball, put the Purple Flower Mushroom Guy on the platform. And then take... And then once we're on top, we can actually just pick it up. And that will go up. And then we'll just continue up. Now, some of these bits can start getting a little confusing. Especially with the purpley, flowery bits. Because it's just it looks like there's so much to do. It's never genuinely the case... Sometimes it may take a little bit of uh, a little bit of brain exercising to figure out what's going on. So once you pop that purple flower down, then we're going to grab this one from atop the platform. That'll jump us over to these weird cactus trees or whatever the hell they is, man. We are going to go down right here, and we will go left. More weird butt plug-looking trees. Pop it on the pecker, and that gives us the way we can. Oh, oh my God! What's going on? <laughs> Uh, so we can go left across the bridge. Stop following me! Uh, continue going straight down. And then what we do, we're going to grab this painful ball. And you can see the mushroom is taking a little walk to the right. So we'll get him walking up. There we go. And then up again. Basically, we just need to get him onto the platform, which is in the middle of the screen. Once you have done that, then what you need to do is press the button and then press the A button to grab the purple flower. So quickly grab it. If it doesn't work, just hit the button again and then hit the button again and he'll jump up with no problems. Pop the purple flower down, hit the button, uh, grab the, sorry, the painful ball. And then he can actually start coming back down. Only this time what we're going to do is put him just to the right, up the steps, and we're going to leave him sort of at the edge of those sort of mushroom leaves or whatever. So keep him right there. About there is fine. So then we'll hit the button to go down. Damn, that's balls, bro. Uh, grab one of your balls. Peh. And then, so what we need to do then, uh, we need to go into this light thing here. He will take that one. We need to go up, grab the one of the purple flowers again. He will beat us this time, which is fine. But once he does that, wait until he's far enough over to the right-hand side. We'll try that one again. Wait until he's far enough over to the right-hand side, grab the purple flower, and you should just make it. So, obviously, if you don't manage to do it as quick as I did there, just wait until he's over, or mostly to the right-hand side. Grab one, you should be good to go. So, hit the moving platforming button, grab a flower on your way. And then heading up. Yeah, there we go. Up the steps. We're going to pop this purple flower up. Purple flower. Purple orb down. That's going to open up the way for us. And we've got... Uh, now, this is a quite interesting bit. So what we need to do then is push this down. So the platform's down to the ground. We then need to get a purple flower on the pecker at the top and at the bottom. So let's use the painful ball to just get him our way for a minute. Thank you. 
So what you need to do then is put him on that platform that we just lowered, which is just underneath the red tree hanging looking thing. Um, go ahead and pop him up. Now, obviously, he will get captured. That's fine. He's going to pop it over to the left pecker for us right there. Boink. And that is what we need. So, again, a little bit of timing's going on here. So, when he is off, go down, drop this down. Now, go back up. In fact, I do apologize. It's back down we need to go. I uh, don't know what was happening there. It's a bit of a weird one. Got, got a little confused myself. No. So, we need to push the button back up. So that he grabs that one. Uh, push the ramp back down, or the platform back down, and then quickly get over to the right-hand side. And then you should be able to make your way up. So that is, uh, you know, it's pretty simple when you think about it, but, you know, it's a business. So go to the right there, grab this next purple orb. A lot of balls we're carrying. we got some mega shoulders, does this cocoon, bruh. Uh, pop them on the pegger. That's gone the bridge, the way of the bridge, so we can just continue up now. Uh, through the Death Valley. Right, so you grab the purple orb, we've popped that down, the apple will release its spankiness. And then once that's done, we can now grab the purple orb again, pop that in the middle pecker, badoink! And give yourself through and go straight back into the purple world where we will end up with the orange and green orbs again. So grab the orange one. And then pop yourself back in the teleporter. And then we'll go up and pop this down on the old pecker boy. And then we can go back into the purple world. And go ahead and grab the green one. Teleport your way back. And here we are then. So... What we'll do now is pop this one on any pecker, it's completely up to you, and then we'll just need to go and grab the purple one and pop that on the one remaining pecker ball. Right, so now we've got to do like three separate puzzles for all of your balls, all tray balls. So green first we'll just do, so press the A button here a couple of times, about four ta three times, four times until we get here. Pop the green ball down the tube and head over to the left hand side to just wait, wait, wait and grab. Good grabbing boys and girls, good grabbing. Right, go up the Invisi platform. And we're going to go up the steps. We're going to be coming up to another moonshine first, a moon ancestor soon. Once we've grabbed, uh, pop the green tube down the tube. Continue to follow it. And then, of course, we'll grab that on the end. There we go. Hello, balls. Right, uh, pop this on the pecker there on the right. That's going to get a little walker dude to follow us. So now we're going to head down the steps to the left. In fact, nope, sorry, we are going directly left. Sorry, my bad, my bad again. Um, put him on this, like, little platform and deactivate him by grabbing the orb. Pop him down the tube. It's tube -ube. Smash the button. And everyone should be nicely there, chilling, waiting for the next job for just $5 an hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, grab the green orb, pop him on the old walkiness. And we're going to head up, and head up, and make sure that you're both on the platform, and then you can take him off, and then press the A button to turn in busy platform again. Put it back in the walker, and head 
down until you are going to hit this little button right here. Uh, take him off so the bridge will always be there for you. Go back up the Invisi platform to the right. Down, 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 down. And now we can put him back on. That just seemed a bit pointless. I don't know why I've done that, actually. Sorry. Sorry, that, that seemed to be quite pointless. Don't know why I've done that. But anyway, um, that was quite unnecessary, which I just realized. I thought it was necessary, sorry. As it turns out, it might not have been. Anyway, we've done that now. We get to this point. Green dude gets sucked in, and then... Badam! So press the A button to grab onto your ball, and then... Uh, Batman, if you ordered him from Wish, will take us back to the hub center. Now it's time for some orange peely dealies. So let's do that and head to the left, directly down to the left. Um, obviously, hidden path our way through. So we're going to go and hit this button first of all, and we're going to hit it um, until it is pointing in the bottom left corner. The sort of one thing is sticking in the bottom left corner. Uh, head to the right and the up. Give yourself a little jump. Huh? Huh? Ow, my legs! And another jump. Hooray! Holy crap! Ah, my legs! They broke! Is what people would say in real life if they'd done that. Hit the button down, go directly down through the pipe. This is where we're going to find the next moon ancestor, by the way. Head to the left, and ta-da! In just a bit, anyway. You're going to pop the or orange orb down, that'll get some stairs going for us, and then... Ta-da! So there we go then, once that has unlocked, we'll grab the orange orb and head back to the right. We've got a lot more stuff to do. So, how are you enjoying the game so far? Everyone having a good time? Good, me too. Right, heading up, uh, we're going to do a little bit of walkery, talkery, stalkery stuff. Without the talky or the stalkery, it's just walkery. So, little pecker on the right gets a little um, walker out. Now, what we need to do is effectively go up the steps and put him on the button, but uh, to get through some doors. So, what we need to do then, get him behind you. Again, very slowly. Very slowly. And then, as soon as he's above the button there on the bottom, what you're going to do is um, take the orange orb off him. And then, quickly run and go straight up. And that should give you enough time then to jump through to the other side. So that's pretty much the only way that you can do that. Otherwise, we'll head down, hit the button. That'll get some steps going for us. And then we can drop down. And yeah, happy days. So pop the orb back on the walker so we can get him up. Again, we've got wings, which you think we could fly over little doors. But <laughs> what do I know? I'm not a butterfly or anything. Right, anyway, Walker's going to get us going, Blob's going to go mad, and um, just grab onto it with the A button, and away we go! Then we've just got Poiple left to do. So don't go ahead and grab the purple orb just yet. We will go to the left through these little bone cages. And we are going to head to the left to grab this one, this purple orb right here. Then what we can do is pop this one on Pekka. I'll get the platform down. We can grab this purple orb to go back up. Head to the right, go down these little steps, pop this one on the old Pekka of life and the walker will appear. So again, this is another bit of timing that we have to do for this little section. Uh, so we're going to go up the steps. 
And what we're going to do is actually get him to wait on this platform that we're on now. So take the purple orb off him so that the walker deactivates and relaxes there for a minute. Head back down the steps. Go to the left. Put the poor purple orb on this pecker. Go to the left again. Now what we need to do is grab this. We need to jump over. Press the A button to put it down. And then when it's on the button... Pick up the purple orb now, and that, and then you should be able to just sneak your way through. So, again, that took me, once again, quite a number of times uh, in order to get the timing right and down right there. So, hopefully, it takes you a little bit less than what I did it in. So, uh, once you pop the stairs down, we can now put the purple orb back on the walker, and we can head up, and that'll be the end of that section, too. Thank you, Batman from Wish. Now, I know sometimes, especially in this game, it's probably easier to just watch what I'm doing rather than me trying to explain it, because I know with a lot of words, it's just sort of, can be just sort of what in one ear and out the other, isn't it? Right, grab this, check this down there, and make sure to do this timing-wise. And you're like, shut up! Um, but yeah, so depends which way you want to do it. If you want to listen or if you'd rather watch, probably easier to watch sometimes, isn't it? But anyway, once you've put your ball sack all the way around and you've pain it out, now we can go into this little area. Now this is, and of course, there is always a chunky giant spider boss. But as I said, when we're gonna we're gonna come up to him in just a couple of minutes' time. Uh, but he's actually the easiest out of the uh, four bosses. I mean, uh, that we actually fight. There is a fifth boss, but he's just basically got a couple of prism mini games, so you don't actually fight anyone. But anyway, here we are. We've got the white orb. We've got a triple ball power in there as well. So this is the final orb of the game that we will be grabbing. So grab it, head to the right. And it basically shoots. It's like a sperminator game. Uh, go ahead and check yourself over. And then go ahead and stand on the platform again. Stand on the jump pad or whatever you want to call it. Pop it over again. Up we go. Up to the right. Pop it in the pecker. Once we've done that, then we'll grab that. Uh, we're going to head to the right, first of all, though. So go down to the left. Go down these steps. And it's another one of those try and find the puzzle solutions before uh, inputting it in the little black little symbol-y stick things. Um, but, of course, that's not what I'm going to do. I won't show... I, the, the puzzle solution is basically just around these rocks. Um, but I'm just going to show you what to do. So hit the uh, third one, the second one. So three, two, four, one, and five. So that's at three, two, four, one, and five. Hit it in that order. And right at the top is where you're going to get Light Buddy once you put your white orb down. So once you've got light bra, pick up your white orb and head back up the way we came, which will be that way. There we go. Light bra is going to unlock the bra for us, or unlock the way, even. Uh, head back up the steps to the right into the centrally hubby area -y. And then now we can finally put it on the pepper, pepper, the pecker, and head inside the white world for the first time. Hello! Right, now we can just continue straight up. Straight up. Ah! And it is actually going to be boss time in just a momento.
So what you can do is just continue straight on. They're all going to pop out automatically and follow you with love and lust and stalkery eyes. Get your stalky eyes off me. Unless you want to be in an OnlyFans video with me. <laughs> no, I'll have to pay people to see that, I think. Uh, right, so jumping straight up then. Once we get boosted over to the other side, that is when we're going to face the big giant spider. But again, like I said, for me anyway, he was the easiest of the four bosses that we fight. So he's basically just got a couple of moves, um, two phases, quite easy. As you can see we're back in the pink brain looking gut stuff with some green stuff about so what you do if you hold the a button you can basically glide over to wherever you want to go um, now this of course will come in mega handy but again you, you don't have unlimited gliding power so obviously you just need to go over to the green that's when you will um, regain your gliding power as it were so, uh, as long as you keep hitting the green. So hit all four of these crystals and they will unlock the boss. So effectively, all he's going to do then is try and stamp on you. So whichever part of the green or even the red that you're on, he is obviously going to try and stamp on you. Smash him open and get him started. Looks scary, but he's not too bad. So try and get as far away as you can for the moment and just try and get on the green. Almost uh, messed up straight away. So what we need to do is basically look for a bit of yellow, which is on one of these greens. So as you can see, for me, uh, it's over on the left, but I just about got away with this one. Wait until he's about to attack, move, and then you can attack his spy fat spider leg. Bam! And that gets rid of one leg. Uh, so you're going to do this a couple of times, and the only, other, the only other thing that he has is like this tidal wave. So obviously you just need to avoid that. Uh, it's literally just a case of... Steam as far away from the spider as you can, and then once you realize you've got a space, just jump over the tidal wave, and it's job done. So, as you can see, the yellow bit for me is in the top right-hand corner. So again, we're just going to go for that, so avoid the spider legs and avoid the tidal waves. Wait until he comes over, jump away, then hit his fat, chunky spider douche leg. So the only other thing he does is he now releases two tidal waves. So one's there and the other one will be in a separate spot. So there we go. So again, it's just a kid. You know, you're still avoiding and everything, but you've just got two to avoid now. Come on up along, let's get you yeah, chunk your leg on that boy. McCain's having chips, yeah! Now we will unlock the unlock the white orbs full power. And the wall power is the full power is actually shooting. So what you'll see is these little white dots on the ground. Hold the A button for a second or two and release it. And that will uh, shoot these diamonds or prisms, whatever you want to call them. We'll call them little diamonds. 
Uh, you also get the um, achievement there, Scream, Aim and Fire. That's a bullet for my Valentine song. So all you need to do is just get rid of all these six diamonds. Shoot, shoot. Uh, now in terms of like aiming and stuff, it's very easy. You, you literally just look at the diamond and he shoots. 99% of the time won't miss. So now obviously we're going through a little bit of a tutorial in order to really understand how it works. So again, when you find these little white circles on the floor, hit the diamond with your power and that sort of unlocks the way or does some stuff. So uh, this time what you can see, you can't shoot straight ahead. So you're going to have to shoot the mirror to the right. Bam, that will open up the way, so spank your hairy crutch. Up we go. Now this time we will head to the left, and we need to hit the button. That'll get the mirror going down slightly. Then we can hit the, the mirror with our white orb full potential power. That'll open up the way, so we'll head down to the left, hit the button once more. And then we can head back up, and now we can actually, what you need to do is basically shoot to the left. So shoot to the left, go onto the platform, and wait until it hits the diamond, and yeah, yeah, baby. Right, so, uh, just continuing on. It's all scary, spooky stuff, now I know. My arms! All that time! For some jacked up right had to steal my goddamn orbs! Oh well, just like in any video games, we're the hero, we'll get them back. Um, so, what you're gonna do then is put up these. Now, again, there's a little bit of timing involved here. So, put all four of those uh, glass shields up. Now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna put the um, two down, actually. So, we'll put them all down. Head over to the left and put this, now this is like an automatic turret, so pop the white orb down, it's going to start shooting. So what you need to do, quickly run back, press the button, and then again, so that will shoot, uh, continually shooting inside. What you'll need to do then is grab the orb as soon as the platform at the top there is at the bottom. So grab it, go to this side, wait until it is hitting the top right hand corner. And then push the button now. So push the button now and then quickly as you can run up to the platform. And that should put you up. So yeah, a little bit of time involved again there, but it's not too bad. Uh, so we're going to head up once you've shot the diamond there. And we're going to get rid of El Blobski. And this is where we're actually going to be coming up to the first sort of diamond slash prism, whatever you want to call it, mini game. So all it is is effectively you're just shooting diamonds. Now you do get timed if you if you uh, do miss um, or whatever. You'll just have to start it again. But you basically it's kind of like space raiders. So don't shoot where it is. You're gonna have to shoot where it's going to be, if that makes sense. So you need to be just in front of it a little bit. Sometimes these diamonds change direction, and obviously as you can see we get a shield as well. So, just try and shoot where the diamonds are going to be. Otherwise, you will be... Again, it takes, it takes a little bit of time there to get used to it. This first one's not so bad. The second one, second time we're going to go through this, it changes again. Then you just need to press and hold the A button in order to get him smashy smash smash.
Yeah, thanks for my bloody green ore back, you goddamn anyway. So, what we'll do, we'll head up, and hello, it's another little chunky apple core to release upon ourselves right here. A couple of turrets and everything. So, for the last sort of, you know, 40, 40 minutes or so, there's going to be a lot of moving orbs about really bad now. A lot of uh, having to put them in specific places. So, putting the white orb on the right, again, it's an automatic turret. So, we'll go inside of green, and we'll head to the left. Now, as you can see... It shoots this diamond, which basically uh, moves a platform for us. So get on the platform and obviously head to the other side. Use the jump pad to jump pad yourself over the period pad of jump pads. Sorry, I don't know why I said that. Head up, interact with the um, portal, with the teleporter. And then we can go ahead and just grab the white orb. So now what we're going to do is put him over to the left one. And as you can see, when we get back inside of Green World... It's going to start shooting that diamond as well, and it's just for another cheeky little platform. So, platform on, down to the left. Another diamond that we will need to shoot eventually. But for now, what we're going to do is head back into the teleporter. Hello. Grab the white orb again from the left, and this time we are actually going to go in the green world with the white orb. Orb section. Sec section? <laughs> Yeah, straight through the gap anyway, orbception, not cock section. Oh, I'm going to shut up now. Right, so what we need to do now then, we need to shoot these in a specific order. So first it's up, then down, then left, and then right, and then that is going to be another Moonshine Ancestry Moon. So, Cryptographer has been done, so once we have done that, we can go, drop, uh, go back down. We are going to head back into the teleported world. Of course, we needed the white orb in order to get that one. Put it on top of the top turret right there. I'll put it on the top turret. Head back into the green world. And again, it's another one of those platforms. You might be lucky enough, quick enough there to uh, jump over the uh, first time. Otherwise, we'll head up the steps. We'll need to go up through the way right here. It's going to sort of open up the way for us now and the turret will start automatically shooting down. So then what we will do is jump ourselves back. In fact, actually, I think I didn't mean to do that. Sorry, I've done that one by accident. So that's fine. What we'll do then is hit the button first so we can put the teleporter so it's up in the middle so it's shooting straight down. Jump back into the teleporter. And as you can see, it's going to start moving. It's going to start making the platforms go invisy and then unvisy. Invisible and unvisible. Yeah, unvisible is the opposite, right? Uh, go through the crack here. Jump over the jump pad. Jump in yourself over And head down the steps. Uh, go down onto the middle button right here and pop that one down. And then what we can do is go ahead and go back into the green world. So green, boogie it up. And then we can hit the button again. That's going to put the teleporter now on the right-hand side. So we'll go back into the teleporter. We will grab the white orb. I thought it was going back in for some reason then. So now we can grab the white orb. We're going to put it on this little pecker right here. And then we're going to go ahead and grab the green orb and take it with us. Again, this would be easier if like this cocoon thing we are just had three big massive pockets, four massive pockets, or like a big bag or something, and just take it to the end. But anyway, that wouldn't be a game then, would it? So uh, we're gonna shoot it over to the left. Now, as you can see, because we are doing it now, we've got the ability to sort of time it ourselves. So once you've shot it, head up, and then you should be able to get up right here, then hit the ding dong. That's going to get some stairs down for us. Head over to the right. And get rid of Blackness, Blobness, Regis. So what we are going to need to do is actually go back and grab the green orb. So uh, what we'll do is... Now, what would have been easier? You could, you could have literally just left the white orb there, got the green orb, and then swapped it over. Or you can pop the white orb here, which will get the bridge going. In fact... 
don't do what I done first time. Do what I <laughs> do what I'm doing on screen. So we can grab the green orb, pop that on the pecker, and then the white orb, and then it is time for the second diamond prism minigame. So this time the minigame is a little bit different, so it shoots wherever you're going to shoot. So as you can see, don't try and just shoot for it, you effectively need to shoot, again, where it's going to be. So effectively, if we go up, so if it's on the side there, you need to be shooting to the either the to, you know top left corner or bottom right corner. So with this one, obviously you can see that it's going to swing, so we need to aim for the bottom left corner to grab that one. It's the same with the shields here, but it's not too bad. So, obviously just, you need obviously need to be shooting. It, it, it's kind of tricky to explain. You can get used to it very easy. So with this one, for instance, we can shoot to the, if you shoot down, um, you are going to uh, have a better time. So when we've got one left then, we need to be shooting, <laughs> I'm sorry, we need to be shooting to the uh, down. That'll get that one going. So. I do apologize, bit, bit of an awkward one to explain really, but um, easier sort of once you know what you're doing. May take you again one or two attempts to get used to what the hell's going on with those things. So with this one, it's going to smash against the boss, and then you'll need to press the A button to smash it back to him. Corner like ping pong! I find it so hilarious and cute that he's like, ah, you beat me. Here's your orb back, thank you. Right, come get me again. Like, bruh, come on, just g give me all the stuff. Just, just give it to me. I paid you good money for that stuff. The orb stuff. Right, so, let's, uh, let's crack on and do some more, huh? So, pop the orange in the middle. We've got green, white, and orange now. So, pick up white and go into the orange world. And we're going to put this on the, uh, uh, we're going to shoot a diamond here on the right hand side. That will get a platform going for us. Um, so now we can hit the button. Of course, this was an area that we couldn't get to earlier. That that kind of happens in video games. Um, <laughs> until you progress the story a bit. Um, go back to the teleporter. And then what we'll do is swap white for green. Go back into the orange world. We're going to be coming up to another moonshine ancestry shine. So we're going to head up to the left, and uh, up to the left again, and well, there it is, nice and easy. The spies between the stars. Right, so we've grabbed, gra gra we've grabbed green orb, we can now head back down to the left, go down until we see this platform here, and pop green on the left. Or the right, it doesn't matter which one particularly. Uh, head back through the teleporter. And now we're going to grab white. And go back into the orange world. Meow. Man, that must uh, that must make you feel sick as a dog eventually. Makes your stomach drop right between your butt cheeks. So once the two are on, go for a nice little, nice little swim, nice little walk, nice little moon ride over. So, once we're down, grab the white orb, and then head through the prettiness of the treesy leavesy. Uh, head up, and pop it on either one, left or right, doesn't particularly matter. Now we'll go back down and grab the green one, and put it on the other little pecorini.
So when it's uh, when that's done, the doors have opened. We'll grab the white orb and we'll head down to the left and across onto this platform. Leave that one there, and then we'll head down the steps. Go to the left and hit the button. And just like that, we are twonky donkey. Head back up the steps then. Go ahead and grab the... Uh, or just go straight up through the doors, sorry. In fact, once again, we're going to be going for the next uh, Moonshine Ancestry. So we'll head left here. Jump on the old dilapidated jump pad. Boink. Head up. Interact with the teleporter. Now, the, what that'll do is put us on the bridge with the white orb. So we can pick that one up. Go through. So instead of going left, go up. And then all the way through. So continue going up and then to the left. And here's the next moonshine guy. A perspective on things. Now, tall makes us think, doesn't it? The perspective on things, the perspective is what the hell's going on in the game. It's very much like Inside, really, isn't it? And Limbo, where everything's just open for interpretation. What does this game represent? What does it do? Um, but you can all argue amongst that amongst yourselves. So, once you've shot the diamond, we can go back to this jump pad and go... Whee! Oh, my goddamn ankles again! Dude's got steel calves. Wish I had some calves instead of these skinny things I lug around with me all day. Uh, so pop it on the uh, pecker, go across the bridge and up. We're going to grab the green orb this time and then go down. Going to go back across the bridge. Swap it with the white one. And then with the white one, we can pop it on um, or we can go onto this teleporter right here. Go back. Then we are going to put this one in the top right hand turret. Or... Platform, sorry, not turret, platform. Then we're going to hit the button underneath it, and that'll get that going to the other side. Then we are going to head back into the orange world. A lot of section stuff going on today. Then head up through the bridge. Ah, smoking. Back up through the doors. Back through the, I mean, I mean they're not pointless because you can't get the orbs through them, of course, but, you know... We can fly, right? Anyway, back over through to the jump pad and then go up once again in order to hit the teleporter. The teleporter machine. And then we can grab the white orb and we can just go ahead and pop that on the pecker. And that's going to release the juice that is the apple juiciness of life. Right, pick up the white orb again and then we're going to put this um, not into the green orb because we're not green. We're going to pop it in the... Um, very left, sorry, the medium left, there it is. I couldn't find that for a second there. Uh, hit the diamond, that's going to get us some stairs going, which will come in handy. Makes life a little bit easier. Again, even though we've got wings and we can fly, but mm, never mind. Uh, so pop that, sorry, so pop that in the, pop the white one in the top turret. Uh, head down and through the newly formed steps. Head up the steps again to the left, and then we are going to head back in... Uh, Gonna grab the orange orb, sorry. So grab the orange orb, head up the steps to the left. And then we're gonna pop it in the middle pecker. Then we're gonna go in back into the orange world. So there we are. We're getting there, we're getting there. Right, so head to the right hand side to grab the green orb. And now we can teleport our way back, so we've made it to the next part now. Lovely. Swap it over so green is in the middle, and we'll pop orange on the right pecker right there, and head back into the green world. Ah, oh, hello. Uh, so what we'll do now is hit the button so that it is facing up once again, or so the teleporter's in the middle, then we'll teleport our way back. Go ahead and grab the orange orb this time, and then we're going to put that over, uh, we're just going to wait until we can climb up there so we can find the hidden path, go down, and then basically just following the path until we get here, and we can find a button that's going to get rid of the rocks, and wham, bam, thank you, Nan, for me, please, Drive. Oh, thanks, Drive. Does anybody else thank the bus driver, or is that genuinely a Welsh thing? It's just nice, isn't it? It's nice. Thanks, bus driver, for putting me on the bus with these crackheads and smelly people. 
I'm just joking, 21 that catches a bus, of course. Right, so, once you've grabbed green and you're in the orange orb, make sure to put green on the right, uh, left-hand side. Come back out. And grab the white orb. Go back into the orange world. And put it on the right-hand side orb. It's actually important that you put those in the positions that we have right there. Uh, grab the orange orb. Obviously, everything's all inside us. No, wait. Uh, go up the hidden path. <laughs> and there we go. We are into the next area once again. Look at us now, boys. Flay, what we got? 30 mins left. Hip, hip, hip. Easy, easy stuffs. Right, put the orange ball back down, and then we're going to go back in. And then, of course, we're going to grab the green orb, teleport our way back out. We are going to pop this down on any of the peckers, doesn't matter which one, but then we'll go back into the orange world in order to grab the white orb. And then we're going to go back into the main hub area. And we're going to go down... To the right, and we're going to hit El, Di El Di Monte, And that's going to get rid of that, so we can actually use the hidden path. So, pop the um, white orb. Again, anywhere you want. Uh, the left is fan, just fan. We're going to put the green orb in the middle, so we've got the orange orb. And then we're going to go into the green... Um, the green world without any orbs. So, yes. I feel like Chief Wiggum. Stop saying Hawaii so much in there. Stop saying orb so much in there. So once you put the uh, teleporter on the left-hand side of the diamond, grab the green orb, swap it with the orange, put orange in the middle, grab green, go into the orange world. So this is where, you know, the last half hour starts getting a little bit more slightly confusing. But pop green on the right-hand side, back to the hub world, grab Whitey McSchneity, and we're going to put him in the turret in the top right-hand corner right here. Now, as you can see, he's going to start shooting to the right. So we're going to grab orange. We're going to go uh, through the hidden path over to the next part. Put orange down. And then we can just uh, go up the invisi, unvisi. Um, uh, rock. Anyway, to get to the top. So there we are. So let's push the button here, it's going to make some steps for us again. Thank you ever so much for that. Um, yeah, so we'll head back up. We're going to go back up these steps and we are going to head back down, down the Invisi Rock. And then we can just go ahead and grab the orange orb, head back down the hidden path and then of course take these stairs, the newly found, newly formed steps up the left right there once we put the orange down. And we've got the white orb. So orange in the middle, grab white orb and go into the orange world and put white orb on the left. Sorry, we weren't going up the newly found uh, stairs just yet because we needed to do that. Then we can grab the orange orb and now we can go up the newly formed stairs. Right, up to the right. And now we're going to go up through the next hidden path. Uh, continue straight. Straight, straight, straight all the way through. And here we are at the next part of our magnificent, confusing, inceptionized life. Right, so pop the orange down on your pecker. Pop orange in the middle and go straight back into the middle world. I feel sick. Uh, grab the white orb and uh, go back into the hub world. That's my sick noise, by the way. Very South Parky. So pop the white orb there to the obviously right turret and then go back into the orange world. And as you can see, shooting to the left. So we're gonna grab the green orb and then we're gonna go back into the hub world with the teleporter. Then we're gonna swap it out. So green in the middle and then orange, just place it down. Then head into the green world. And as you can see, it's still shooting out to the left, so what we need to do is hit the button. And twice, so it will shoot this big old diamond here on the left. So, go back in the uh, hub world through the teleporter, and then what we need to do now is grab the green, swap it with orange. Pop orange down, and then grab green. Go into the orange world. And then put the green onto the left-hand side. Go back into the hub world, 
Grab orange, put that one down. Grab the white orb, pop this one in the middle. Grab the orange orb, go into white world. <laughs> it's like Wayne's world, except it's not Wayne's world at all. Then we are going to head down. Now, we can't obviously get here, so you need to continue going down to the left and through the hidden path. There should, there's only one linear path to go, and that's up. Until we find the next little pecker here to pop down. So once we pop that one down, uh, head back through the teleporter into the hubness of the world. Uh, grab the white orb, so we've now effectively got all orbs inside of white orbs. Uh, so we'll head down the left. Shoot this diamond right here. That's going to form us up some steps again. Head to the left. And we're going to put him in this turret right here. There we go. Fly in. So, it's kind of a time thing now. So, it's obviously going to go through orange, through green. So, once you're there, just... But obviously, we need to take the orb with us. So, you need to wait until it goes in. So, try it again. So, wait until it shoots the mirror and goes in. Grab it, and then just wait uh, in the invisi platform, and then eventually it should shoot us up. There we go. So go ahead, shoot this diamond, El Damonte. And then we're going to continue up the steps. To the right, and this is actually one of those quick time section things you've got to do. So we need to get up here, shoot the mirror to the left. Now what you need to do then is run down quickly, put your orb down on the pecker like so, hit the button now, so you can grab it, quickly grab the orb, and then move to the invisi platform, and then up we go, so, uh, again, apologies, it might be worth just watching it again, uh, rather than me explaining, but effectively, just need to put the orb down, jump it up so it catches it, grab the orb, and then head up, but anyway, once we are up here, put the white orb down, go into the white world once again, and then we can go and grab the orange orb with all our little friends in it. Head back down and through to the white world again. There she blows, mate. Swap them around so orange is in the middle and white can just be on the bottom. Head into the orange world. And we will grab greeny bogs from the left and go back into the teleporter. Um, go up the invisible path, uh, the invisible way, and just go ahead, bla unblack the black, and now of course we need all three in order to win, so it's literally a case of putting green and orange on the two peckers, and then white for shooting the diamond, and then we need to do another one of those diamond games. This time for the excellent that is the prism mini games um they're obviously still the diamonds are going to be sh uh, going around this time though wherever you shoot the um shield around you is going to move so obviously th the location that you shoot you um so you need to shoot at the shield in order to move it out the way if you get what i mean so this one is fine so we can just wait until one is on the left and miss apparently uh, <laughs> there we go and got that one. Now, for this one, the diamonds start getting further and further away, which means obviously you need to time your shots a little better. So, the f it was the fourth one for me that caught me out a couple of times because you don't want to. It's obviously hard to. Obviously, I, w I was going too late. It's hard to go late. It's hard to go early. Um, but I actually just about managed to grab this one because, as you can see, my rings were running out. Oh, just got away with that one. So again, you need to get, need to play ping pong tennis balls with old angry pig right here about six or seven times.
here you go, here you go. I'm so sorry, sir. So sorry. Anyway, uh, doing this will get us the Daybreak achievement, and then we've just got two achievements left again. It's getting to be a little snowy up here now. Right, so once all your balls are down and we've got purple ready to go. So we are literally about just under 20 minutes away now from completing the game. So we are getting there slowly but surely. So what we're going to do is grab white and then we're going to go into the purple world. We are going to shoot this diamond here on the left. And obviously that's going to get a sneakily swinging platform going. Uh, so we'll grab white and just pop that on. Go back into the teleporter. And then just go ahead and grab orange and green. Go back in and then you need to put them on the peckers. So there's three of them except for purple. So they all split off, but it is all good. You don't need to worry about that because they're all in quite close proximity anyway. So first of all then, we will go ahead and grab the orange one. So wherever the orange one has landed for you, uh, go ahead and grab that. Uh, yeah, am I alright? I think I was having a bit of a half nut job there. Uh, interact it with white, so uh, move it with white. Shoot the diamond, that's going to get a platform over. Um, put the orange one on the newly mo moved platform, grab the white one, and then we can shoot it back over. There we go, so spanky hairy crutch. Put the white one back down on the old pecker and cross the bridge to the left. Now, this is a puzzle that we can't leave. Oh, well, when we get the green one anyway. Uh, so, there we go, get orange. Pop that on the old pecker himself. And that's going to open up, of course, the juicy appleness. So, again, just do the same thing for green. So, shoot with the white one, put the green on, and, uh, yeah, go nuts! Okay, so once we've got green over then we can now put him um, up top. So we'll put him up top, grab the other one and put him on the other pet uh, Orange, grab him on the other pecker to open up the door. It's mighty tempting to go through, isn't it? But we're not going to do that yet, guys. Grab the orange orb, pop him in the middle pecker, uh, grab the green orb, and go into the orange world. Meow. Uh, pop him on the right hand side uh, pecker right there, and then get back through into the hub world. Now we can pick up orange because we've got green tucked safely inside of orange. And orange like that a lot. Uh, so we've got a couple of robots following us. Looks ominous, but it's really, really not. It's actually the two... Uh, two pecker, two pecker things that we can just do. And pop them down with. So, put the orange one on first. And then we need to go up through the little cracks right there. And, uh, well, we've been here before. This looks, should look familiar. So, we're back into the temple. Where we're going to grab the green orb. And we can just head back through the platform, the teleporter machine. And put it on L other pecker. And there we go, job done. That's going to open up another little bridge for us. Transformer bridges come to save the door. So go ahead and grab the green orb first. 
And then we can put that on the old pecker and then go ahead and grab the orange one and put it on the other one. Next up, go ahead and grab, grab the green orb, and then what we need to do is go down to the left, uh, invisi yourself down, keep heading down, and you need to actually just stand on this teleporter in order to get it to work, because if you don't get that one to work, you'll just end up um, with the big shooty one. So now you can put the green one down, grab the orange, go into the green world, and now you should, up, uh, should end up by that um, teleporter we just turned on. So, uh, once you've done that, we've got the orange orb, go over the bridge here on the left, continue up, and into this little area. We're going to hit the button, and that's going to get uh, a set of stairs down for us, so thanking your hairy crutchness once again. So, head back down the way we came. Nya, 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 nya. Um, go back onto the teleporter then, so we can head back up. Hello. And then we could just put the orange orb down, grab the green orb, yep, grab the green orb, there we go, and now we can head up the steps to the left, the newly formed steps, we can go up the uh, Invisi platform, and then jump your way down. <gasps> My air cars again! Squished, I need to see a doctor after this one. Right, head up the steps, and go to the left, and then we're going to turn that te uh, uh, teleporter on and then we'll head down hit this button and that'll get this platform moving platform down moving like a moving mover uh, go ahead pop the green orb on and then we can head down down again hit the button once again in order for it to get over to the other side then we will head back up the steps starting to get a bit knackered now aren't we uh, now we can just go through the temple again. That'll put us effectively where the green is, so we can just pick it up. Job done. Head down to the left. Now we're going to uh, press the A button here once, twice, thrice, and that will do. Um, head to the left, and we've got another one of these little puzzles in order to try and do and figure out. And of course, I'm just going to tell you exactly which ones to press first. So, uh, they're all over onto the left-hand side if you want to figure out where they are, but it is number one first. So, one, five, three, two, four. So, that's one, five, two, three, four, or three, two, four, sorry. One, five, three, two, four, and then you'll get another light bra. So, once we're all light bra up, uh, let's take our green orb, and we'll now push it over to the right, since we can now get back through the locked gates. Uh, whoosh yourself over again. Whooshem, booshem, chicken teriushem. Now we're going to head up. And we'll go down the steps, up again. Now, uh, Broski here will get munched up, but that is absolutely fine. So we'll just leave him chill there for a minute. We'll pop the green orb down. Uh, go ahead and get light bra once again. Go up the steps, and of course go through the teleporter, which will put us right there, where we just left our green orb. Uh, so get the gate gone, pick up the green orb. And then what we're going to do is actually head, it's a kind of hard to see, but there was a little tube we could have just put the green orb down. So pop the green orb down that specific tube, head back down until Broski here gets squished again. It's all good, we'll just uh, pick him up again. Hello, my friend. Did I provide excellent customer service for you today? Yes, I did. Right, head through the teleporter, we should be at the end, and the final moon ancestry pig. There it is, some of those loophole maneuvers. Right, so we'll grab the orb. Again, very important to grab the orb. Head down to the right and jump pad your way on. We've got about 10 minutes of gameplay left, and then that be the end, and all achievements will unlock. And trophies, of course. 
So, going onto this platform, moving to the other side. There we go, thank you, Lightbra. Much appreciado, my little Nelly Furtado. Uh, head down, of course, and we're going to put the green orb on. Go ahead, grab Mr. Greeny Snot, and go over to the right, go up the Invisi platform, and then we're going to head to the right again, or oh, well, we're just basically effectively going in the middle. Um, turn the teleporter on, but don't go through it just yet, and we'll push the button here at the bottom as well, that's like a spinning platform, that'll come around. So now what we're going to do is, we are going to go in... Uh, oh, back down, sorry. So back down through the invisible portal. And we will put greeny bags in the middle. Now we're going to interact with it. Go into the green world, even though we technically are. But that'll put us on the teleporter. That'll put us here as well, because that will open up the way. So thank you, Mr. Light Bra. Once a Bren. Go back through the teleporter. Pick up the green orb. And now we can head right up the invisi portal. And Brosie's about to get squished, but it's all good. We don't need him anymore anyway. So head straight down. And then we'll go down once again. Here we are into another little portal world. Get green. Green in the middle. Go back through the green world to put us back onto the teleporter. And now we're going to head up past um, orange glue stuff. Hit the... Um, hit the hit the button again, and then we can get our light bra black, R light bra back even. Sorry, and then we can hit the teleporter again, and then we've got all orbs sort of plus light bra who will open up the way for us on the right. So kind of a complicated, more more complicated puzzle as we near the end of the game, but not too bad once you're following a guide. Right. So what we're going to do? Put orange in the middle, get green, and go into the orange world. We're going to put green on the right-hand side. We're going to go back into the opposite world with the orange. Pick up orange and head to the right. And then we are going to go down the hidden path. Down, 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 down. <laughs> ah, ah, shut behind me. I pooped him. Right. So we can head back to the right now. So we are back into the area that we visited earlier on. So pop the orange orb back onto this platform. Obviously, Light Bra would have opened up the way for us there. And then we just need to do the whole shooty shooty with the white orb in order to get orange back. So, there we go, take orange, and then we're going to put him on, the, well, Lightbrow's going to light the way for us again, so thank you for that one. Uh, hit the teleporter, and nip yourself through it. Boosh! So now we are in, like, this white world, so basically the sort of ending part, if you will. So, uh, there we go, we got purple. So, purple's done, we need to now grab uh, green from the orange world, so go ahead, grab green. And pop that on anyone. I'll just pop them on the left. We need to take the orange orb and put him on the right. Get purple. And put him back in the center and nip straight through it again. This time though we are going to be grabbing the white. Old Walter White. Who, even though he had, uh, you know, the mega disease and he was going to die. People were still shocked when Walter White died in Breaking Bad for some reason. Oh my god, he's got cancer. How did he die? Hmm. Anyway, once we are back through then, so we got all four orbs right here. What we will do now is head up. Um, we're going to get our little light bra in through there. And we basically have to do this final piece of puzzling in a very specific way. So, what you're going to see is four lights in here. So, we basically, now we need to put four balls inside each other, but in a specific way. So, make sure purple's in the... Um, so, white's in the middle. So, we... So, white is in the middle. We're going to grab orange and go into Whiteville. And we are just going to put orange down anywhere. So, what you'll have to do is actually go down across the hidden path again and put the orange one down and then go back through. Oh. 
So there we go, that's orange and white. So now we'll grab purple, swap that with white, and then white needs to go in purple. So with this white orb, we'll just pop it straight down here, that's fine. Back through the teleporter then, and then we're gonna grab green. We're gonna swap that over with purple, and then put purple in green. And then we'll just put that at the top little pecker right there. I don't know why I called it a pecker. I think it was because of the, the two balls earlier on. Two balls and a pecker. It, it was just funny to me. And then that should be that. So once you've got the green, everything is inside each other. All warm and cozy. Interact that with a little pe pecker. And that should be as golden nuggety as day's nuggety. Now personally, I thought this was going to be like the last final boss of the game. But as it turns out, it's not. We literally just have to do walk-in, up a whole lot of steps, and uh, finish the cutscene, and then it's game's end, baby. We are the games of thrones. You know, without all the incest and, you know, murder and rape and stuff. So for the very, very final thing to do then, there's going to be a new platform which of course has risen out of the ground, which wasn't obviously there before. Get yourself on that and then we will turn into the ultimate steroid infused cocoon. Our cock is going to grow absolutely massive right now, our cocoon. <laughs> Sorry, co co cocoon, you know, cocoon. So we grow massive and effectively it's now going to be game's end. So uh, the last achievement for uh, completing the game will unlock as soon as the credits roll but thank you so so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed the game it was absolutely fantastic in my eyes i hope you enjoyed the guide as well and that it helped if it did of course don't forget to like comment subscribe and share with a friend as well and a big shout out to all my patreon supporters and youtube members as well absolute legends and thank you to everyone who interacts with me in the comments on the daily as well uh sorry that i don't get back sometimes it's it's a stressful life uh, but yeah, there we go. So that is Cocoon done. So thank you to the guys who made this from the uh, Who were the guys that? Um, made effectively pl um, Inside and Limbo, which is why it's one of those stories that confuses the crap out of everyone and everything's just left into Interpretation, but anyway, there we go guys and gals your last achievement should unlock So thank you so much for watching again. I'll see you in the next game pass game guys and gals big love nuts but yes, I love them big nuts. Never mind, scratch that last record.